what's up youtube welcome to our video in this video we will learn how we can update different forms of data at the firebase using c sharp so let's begin first we will create a method to replace our document deleting all previous fields we will use this method to update this document so all the fields inside it would be deleted and new fields would be added you can also see uh, a collection within this document let's see what happens to it so a document reference docref equals to database dot collection and the name of uh, the collection is testing one dot document docs one now to name the new field we need a dictionary of type string and object we name it data new dictionary and the first field i need is name the name should be tech v and the second field i need is web youtube.com then we need to create a document snapshot to verify that the document exists so docref dot get snapshot async and for this method we need to create async method so async and await then we need to create a condition that if the document exists then update the document so docref dot set async and here comes the data so this should be a awaited process as well now we copy the name of this method and call it within the button start so these are the old fields when i click the button these are deleted and the new fields are added but you can also see that the collection remains as it is this is because you can delete a collection with this kind of method so even if i delete the document the collection would still be there so i have to create and call a different method for de uh, deleting the sub collection now let's focus on our uh, next method which is update specific fields in a document or add new fields within a document so we just need to copy this method paste it here change the name so update specific fields or add new fields within a document for this we only need to change this set async to update async so this time i'm only updating the amazing field code which words. is the name so so i want to only update this field copy this paste it in the button click now when i click this button you can see that the name is updated now we can also add new fields new field. using the same method One, two, three. so to do that so this is how we can add new fields now for our next method our next method is to update elements within a list or we can say to update nested elements for that we will only copy this and come to this add multiple sets of data and copy this so this is the name of the collection this is the name of the and document
also we will update change the name list. so elements it is now nested elements now what we want to update is that here in the my list there is first name which is tech v so i want to update this so how can i do that the name of the list is my list change this to so my will list this. dot first name and everything would everything will remain the same this will change the first name in the my list so here is the name tech v when i click this button it changes it to the complete name i can also introduce new fields within my list by using the same method which is this if i copy this paste it here and write my list dot with it then it will create a new field so a new field is created within my list our last method is how to update elements of an array so so now remove this data and inside this my array we have to give the name of the array which is field value dot then a second argument which is and inside this i will add some elements so one two three a b c and four five six this should be capital so currently this array has three indexes when i press this button two more elements are added so this is how you can update an array you would be thinking that this is the method to add elements to an array but what about if you want to update a specific element on a specific index let's say you want to update the uh, first index name to something else well there is no known method for it in the firestore database so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time